himself and deliver his servants who put their trust in him. And the king commanded and yielded up their bodies so as not to serve or worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree that any people, nation, or tongue that speak anything offensive against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be torn limb from limb and their houses reduced to a rubbish heap in as much as there is no other god who is able to deliver in this way. Then the king caused Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to prosper in the province of Babylon. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. What happens? When God blesses you for your trustworthiness and high moral values, people who could not live in Christ Jesus like you will envy you, we plan for your downfall. You plan for your downfall? But nothing will happen to you. Amen. Because the Lord that we serve is with you. Now, the Bible said in Proverbs 2 1 to 12, let us read 10 to 15. For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will guide you and understanding will watch over you Amen. to deliver you from the way of the evil, Amen. from the man who speaks perverse things, Amen. from those who live the path of righteousness, Amen. to walk in the ways of darkness, who delight in doing evil, Amen. and rejoice in the perversity of evil, whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. Our Lord Jesus Christ showed greater concern for all the youths under our custody. Whether they are our children, or in our custody, or under us to guide, or under us to educate them or to teach them. As we read in Mark 9, 36 and 37, taking a child, he set him before them, and taking him in his hands, he said to them, whoever receives one child like this in my name receives me. And whoever receives me does not receive me, but him who sent me. And verse 42 said, Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe to stumble, it will be better for him if he, with a heavy stone hung around his neck, and be cast into the sea. You have no excuse. To deny your children or your words, living under your roof, of coming to church on Sundays, to hear the words of God, because maybe you spend the whole Sunday night in attending parties or watching late night movie, or you erroneously believe that it is not your business to enforce your discipline upon them, so that Jesus Christ we vindicate you that you have tried your best. If you do not enforce it, you will not be vindicated. Or you have to enforce it. If they still choose to go their own way, then you know that you have done your best and then you will be vindicated by Jesus Christ. Amen. Or engaging in fruitless activities to render you physically lethargic, to get up on Sunday morning and come to church to worship your God for only two and a half hours. Out of the 180 hours that make a week, the precious time lent to you with grace by your Creator, I leave it to your conscience because you will be held accountable in due course. Can you learn or receive instruction from your subordinates God has been trying to reach out to some of his children for so long, but they are just not looking in his direction. Mm. The teachable fellow is humble, is loyal, is focused, is sober, is trustworthy, and mentally alert to think spiritual. 
The student who goes into his lecture room and promptly leaves because he sees his instructor or the wheelchair or suffering from some disabilities, we miss a lot of life lessons. The child who disregards his parents or her parents' advice because to you they are now illiterate or uneducated. If you are wise, you will open yourself to instruction from them. And every possible instructor that God has ordained for you, believe it or not, there are lessons you must learn from your parents, from your teachers, from your friends, and diverse people we do come across every day of our life. How truly teachable are you is measured by how much you can learn. Not from people with whom you are familiar, but being able to recognize the saints sent to you by Jesus Christ to mold you and prepare you for your greater responsibilities. Do not limit yourself. Jesus Christ has laid down his life for you to regain back your heritage. It is now up to you to claim the dominion and be fruitful and multiply. My prayer today is that the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross will not be in vain for all the ears hearing this message from the Lord today. It shall be well with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Almighty Father, we thank you, Lord, for the message that you have brought before us this morning. We thank you for the life of our children, Father Almighty. You gave that to us to look after them. They are the crown of our head. They are our future. A church without the youth is a dying church. We thank you, Lord. That we have children, we have youth that we can be proud of. Amen. At this moment, Almighty Father, we put them in your divine care. Amen. Father, mighty protect them. Give them wisdom and understanding. Amen. We will be trying every day of our life to mold them, to perform our responsibilities over them as you have commanded. Amen. And we beg you, Almighty Father, that you come into their hearts. Give them a listening to us. Do not let everything that we have said. Father mighty fall among thorns or on dry ground. But let the words find fertile grounds in their heart. Father mighty, we pray also for we parents. We confess our sins before you because we are not perfect. But if we are told, we will do what you want us to do. Do not let your words enter through our right ears and come out of the left ears. Do not let us be here as a lone but just of life. We commit our lives in your care this morning, Father Mighty. Take control. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. Turn us around, Almighty Father, and create in us a new heart and new spirit. That from this moment our lives may not be the same again. Father, we pray with thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you.